everyone, and welcome to another Z-Car Culture episode, powered by Car Crazy Africa. Now, Senna, Schumacher, Hamilton, what do all these great names have in common? A background in karting. And that's why we're here at Ultimate Racing, to determine who is the best Z-Car Culture driver. To my right, I've got Brian Willis, no relation to Bruce. And to my left, I've got Kudzanai. The one and only? No relation to anyone here, <laughs> which is good. <laughs> anyway, here at Z Car Culture, we always put safety first. So before we get on the track and I start beating him, we always mm. we needed some coaching first by Zach. He's gonna teach us on how to take each of the corners and how to maintain some of the race lines. Obviously, these are all terminologies that he's not familiar with. Come on. I'll just sit through it with him so that you know <laughs> it doesn't wow. seem too unfair when I really do his put the donkey sound here. <laughs> <laughs> and the winner, That's the what winner you think. will be the ultimate champion. What do you mean the winner? That's mine. It's already been said. Oh, come on. This belongs Anyways, to me. Let's find well, out. I'm just letting you keep it. Uh, for who's Zach, I hear you ask? Stay tuned and find out. <laughs> Zach. Yeah. Uh, take us through the, the track. So uh, this here is an aerial photo of this, this track here. Okay. So mm -hmm. uh, we're sitting just right here. As you can see, the start line's just here. All right. Uh, so this is the corner down here. It's called the S's. Uh, this is the hardest part of the track and uh, if you master this corner it mm. affects your whole sort of main straight speed as well so uh, right. what you're gonna do so this yellow line here this dash line here is the racing line mm -hmm. and I'm sure you guys are motorsport people you know what the racing line is yes uh, I, I don't and I think the audience <laughs> made, made yeah. it <laughs> so uh, the racing line is the fastest way to go around the track oh, mm -hmm. uh, it's obscure because you're not like always tight or you're not always wide mm -hmm. but uh, instead you're you start off on the outside of the corner which we call wide and then when you get to the middle of the corner you want to be as close to it as possible we call that the apex and then you want to be out wide again uh, so that's just for like a general corner so like your 90s or your 180s right. but like for the s's here we start to talk about like late apexes and uh and uh, sort of unusual lines. So as you can see here, mm -hmm. we start off wide and then we're going to take a late apex here. And then instead of being fully wide, we're going to be in the middle of the track. And then we're going to take another late apex here. And then we're going to take just a sort of normal apex here. And then instead mm -hmm. of running like fully wide, we're going to run out into the middle of the track. So mm -hmm. um, the reason why we sort of run into the middle of the track is that uh, you know, you, if you travel a shorter distance, it does tend to be uh, faster generally. Mm -hmm. And you don't have that much momentum here that you can kill. So All it's right. already a slow corner, so you try and keep it as tight so you're doing less meters on the track. All right. um, so if you get this part right, that means you get to carry more speed. More speed around the, the whole straight. So uh, karting, especially in rental carts here, Mm -hmm. Momentum is very important and uh, momentum can help with a lot of things. So, for instance, if you were to spin here and mm -hmm. let's say you accelerate from a complete standstill, your speed at the end of the stretch here will be much slower than someone that's even going 5Ks faster than you from a standstill. Mm -hmm. um, and also, mm -hmm. I mean, when you get a lot better and you practice here a lot more, this it's not just the straight now you're talking about right up until this happen here because this corner would be flat out and so we're supposed we're meant to go flat out here if you can i did it a few times like twice i think really <laughs> for real for real Don't worry, we're going out we're going to be out there in a second so i think, okay, I think we'll get a gopro mounted on your feet there so <laughs> Pedal movements. Yeah, we uh, should. I got a feeling we're going to see a lot more crashes by this <laughs> 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 because like, of this land. No, it's always mm. right within mm. your ability. I mean, mm. it also varies with the carts as well. Like, mm. for instance, sometimes I can't even go flat out around this corner because there won't be enough grip on the cart or mm. this sort of thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. So mm. uh, it's always a balance. Like, yes, I could go flat out, but do I end up in the tire wall or not? Mm. So, uh, oh, all right. So it's trying to, always, to manage the You've always got to manage, you know, and it also depends on, like, your personal, like, Okay, am I feeling like I want to take the risk today, or is it worth it? <laughs> and that's Do I have medical aid? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, mm. 
Uh, so this track, it's quite basic, but I mean, it does have this very technical section here. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it's quite a fast track, as I'm sure you guys don't, yeah. didn't know. And I mean, it goes from very sort of fast mm -hmm. to very slow, slow. and tight. Right, so, so uh, basically heads up for you, the right. best passing place is along here, along the inside. I knew that, that's why I blocked it. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the straight, yeah, that big tire is it's scary mm -hmm. when you're passing yeah. someone, so yeah. I don't recommend at the end of the straight. Uh, even mm -hmm. in the second open here, if you try to go around the outside, mm -hmm. you that takes some skill. No, it's, and then also here, I mean, there's always a plan to try and make So you just make, you make use of all the space you have. Yeah, exactly. All right. So, uh, all right. I think um, that's, that's a good uh, rundown of the track. Yeah, so I think mm -hmm. what we could do is when we got, we could maybe go slow for one lap, Okay. And you guys could follow me just to make sure your lines are 100%. And then okay. I think we could gun it from there. All right. Just to uh, All right, cool. have a bit of fun. <laughs> All right, cool. sure. Yeah. Um, let's go. So awesome. slow is, is fast for you. Slow is fast. So just try to keep up, right? Emotional, damn it! <laughs> the guy was speaking from the outside of the track. <laughs> 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 let's do this. Let's do this. All right. Yeah. For those of you that don't know who Zach Dafty is, he started racing at the tender age of 6 years old. He raced in two karting world finals in 2013 and 2014 in Italy. He was only 9 years old in 2013 making him the youngest Zimbabwean to ever race at the world final level. He raced in South Africa for 10 years from 2012 with the largest and most successful kart team RKT Racing. He has raced in seven different kart classes throughout South Africa. In 2018 and 2019, he was top three in his class in South Africa. In 2022, he started Zacademy Kart Team, which is a development team and started to assist parents to get their kids started in karting. He manages the whole team from repairs and maintenance, coaching, transport, everything needed for the kids to race. He currently has seven, soon to be eight youngsters in his team. He can take a complete beginner to race pace in only three months. Now that you have a bit of context on this young legend's background, you now understand why he was totally kicking our behinds on the course. He was not playing in those corners. And what makes it even worse is I suspect he was going easy on us.
numbers. Mm -hmm. So, Ooh, chart it. three. With the fastest lap time of a 31.58. Who's that? I got the fastest time. You got a 31.58. That's the fastest time, Michael. Wait, let the oh. man finish. Cut six. With the fastest time of a 28.43. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's like a full second and some change. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's more like than one. a few seconds. That's like three, four seconds. And that's over a few laps. Now, if this was like an endurance race. <laughs> 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 Alright, yeah. thank you. Bye. Then that's what was that. Now, my medal, please. My medal. Right. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, what's it? Need some music. Put some music. My car had an engine check light on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't even try and steal this moment. Feels like I've been waiting for this my whole life. Man, he cheated. Thank you. How? How did you cheat? They didn't oh, tell no. me these things don't have power steering. <laughs> thank you. A huge special thank you to Kevin Dufty and Pole Position Cards. Pole Position Cards are the Zimbabwean promoters for Rock Cup Global an international kart series that raced in over 40 countries worldwide. They have built karting from one competitor in 2018 to the current 18. Pole Position Karts has been instrumental in bringing karting to thousands of people. You can find Pole Position Karts in Eastleigh at Ultimate Fun. You can also follow them on Facebook and Instagram. If you got any questions or queries about our show, Please feel free to contact us at Z Car Culture or Car Crazy Africa. Follow the links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and here's hoping you have subscribed. Till next time, ciao.